hello friends in this video i am going to explain you how the figo classification of fibroid is made and what are the different classes and how to make it easy to remember because it's actually not easy and when the question asked you have to uh, just you have to remember and also un uh, understand how this classification is uh, was made now the figo classification is made on the basis of the site of fibroid for example this is the uterus this is the uterus and these are the three layers of uterus the innermost layer is the endometrium here this is the endometrium this is the endometrium the middle layer it is a myometrium and the third layer is a peritoneal that is serosa so how a fibroid is located on these according to these three layers the figo classification is there so <clears throat> there are some eight classes of figo classification starting from zero goes to eight so you can actually tell that nine classes of fibroids are there okay from zero to eight so first three that is zero one and two classes are of submucosal fibroid okay and the the, the other that is o defines as a o submucosal is defined as a sm so this o that is other contains rest of the rest of the classes from 3 4 6 5 6 7 8 and the third third classification is a hybrid fibroids hybrid fibro fibroid is not actually an, a different category it includes these kind of fibroids this uh, two type two type three type four type six type five sorry these four types are included in the hybrid fibroid because they are actually in contact with more than one layer so let's start with the submucosal fibroid 0 1 and 2 so when this when you heard that what is a class 2 so you need to understand that up to 2 it is a submucosal the 0 is pedunculated submucosal fibroid pedunculated the type 1 is also a submucosal fibroid but less than 50 percent of the fibroid is intramural that extends into the into the intertitium that is mucosa that is uh, muscle layer so what what here we are trying to do is the type 1 fibroid is a, actually a submucosal fibroid but the total you know, volume the volume of the fibroid more than 50 percent volume in the fibroid is into the submucosa only not into muscle layer type 2 fibroid is also a submucosal fibroid but more than 50 percent volume of that fibroid is uh, into the interstitium sorry into the uh, uh, muscle layer so here we understand by the figure very well that you see fibroid here is a pedunculated fibroid this is the stalk this is a type 1 if you see this is a submucosal fibroid we can see through the hysteroscopy if we are doing hysteroscopy so submucosal fibroids are seen in the hysteroscopy definitely so this type 1 fibroid more than 50 percent of the volume is in uh, is just uh, not into muscle layer so in the muscle only this volume is there so it is less than 50 percent of the fibroid volume into this muscle layer type 2 is it is a, obviously a submucosal fibroid but more than 50 percent of volume here is the 50 percent so more than 50 percent of this volume of this fibroid is into this muscle layer so this is type 2 so 0 1 and 2 are submucosal fibroid you can see here from 3 4 5 6 7 these all fibroids are outside the mucus layer so what is a it comes in under the category o 
now under the o category that is others type 3 fibroid is a fibroid that is completely intra interstitial that is completely into the muscle layer but it touches in contact of the mucosa okay type 4 fibroid is is completely into the muscle layer it's not touching any of the other layer that is mucosa or serosa they doesn't uh, have a contact or involvement of these two layers they are into muscle layer only so type 4 fibroid is here here only into the muscle it is not in contact with either serosa or either mucosa now comes the fibroid type 5 the fibroid type 5 and 6 and 7 both uh, th these three fibroids are actually sub serosal fibroids <clears throat> and whenever some fibroid is in the sub serosal fibroid you can actually see that fibroid in the laparoscopy so here is a laparoscope we can see all these three fibroids that means they are sub serosal on hysteroscopy when we can see these three fibroids which are submucosal so these two fibroids that is 3 and 4 they are only the completely interstitial that means completely mucosal fibroid and to say that's why 3 and 4 types of fibroid might not be seen on either hysteroscopy or laparoscopy this is clear <coughs> so comes to number five five is a sub serosal fibroid but more than 50 percent of the volume of the fibroid it's still into the interstitium if you see that here if we cut this fibroid volume in 50 into 50 percent more than 50 percent of this volume is inside the muscle and less than 50 percent of volume is just uh, into the serosa so this is type five now you can easily assume what can be type 6 type 6 fibroid means it is a sub serosal fibroid but less than 50 percent of the volume is intramural that is into muscle layer this is type 6 here see the only this amount of volume is into the muscle layer now comes to the type 7 type 7 is a, again pedunculated sub serosal fibroid this is type 7 pedunculated with a stalk sub serosal fibroid and for the rest kind of fibroids that may be broad ligament fibroid cervical fibroid parasitic fibroid all comes under category 8 so now you understand now why we have categorized this this uh, classification so my friends whenever you heard that, that the classification a figo classification figo classification is made on the basis of treatment protocols so we need to uh, we need to have a treatment of particular fibroid depending on the st stage of that fibroid for example the type 1 uh, type 0 1 and 2 fibroids can be removed hysteroscopically that are submucosal fibroids type 0 1 and 2 type 7 6 and 5 can be removed easily by laparoscope okay we are not actually going very inside the myometrium very easily type 3 and 4 fibroids are actually intramural so if we need to remove this fibroids then there is a considerable amount of breach in the muscle wall so they are dangerous for future pregnancy because it can rupture uh, rupture pregnancy rupture of the pregnancy rupture, rupture of the uterus can happen in that pregnancy because we are uh, removing we are actually interfering the whole length of uterus so that's why the typing is there that's why the figo classification comes in the hybrid fibroids are just these kind of fibroids for example if you see type 1 fibroid type 2 fibroid type 3 fibroid type 5 type 6 all these are hybrid fibroids they are into both some uh, two layers of the fibroids okay so this was the figo classification of fibroid